Let me see. Let me see. Did you take acting classes? Um, I took. Yeah, I took a. a I did a, a little bit for some years. I worked with a few different um, acting coaches. Um, Harold Gaskins, who he used to work with, like Alia and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, Where they at in L.A.? No, Harold Gaskin was in New York. I worked with him. I worked with um, Joie Lee, Spike okay. Lee's sister. Okay. Um, oh, she's that's a, how you say her name? Joie? Joie, uh-huh. yeah. Uh-huh. Well, I know. I thought I it was thought Joy. It was Joy. <laughs> I thought it was Joy. Okay. And then I was like, oh my gosh, Joie. I didn't want to, you know. But uh-huh. she's she's a really great person. Oh, I Wonderful could Wonderful lady. Mm-hmm. And I learned different things from her. And um, there's a lady, Bobby Chance, in L.A. that mm-hmm. I worked with. And I also worked with... Um, Oh my goodness! Why did I forget her name? There's, but I only have one session with this lady. But my one session was woo, really. I, mean, I learned so. There's so much I learned. Yeah, from from those was four different. No, no, uh-uh. no, no. I mean, like she was. I I just her aspect of change. They all had their different ways mm-hmm. of teaching, and though all of their ways were really beneficial as right. an actress. Yeah. Um, I saw that you were on a sitcom, My Wife and Kids. Oh yeah. How you been? What the heck is this? You want me to remember it? <laughs> yeah, it's you just, were on my wife. That was a kids. long time ago. Yeah, yeah, I remember. I actually, I was pregnant with my son when I did that. Really? I I had found out while I was filming that because I was like, I, in the morning, I, I remember I ate this salad, mm-hmm. you and it had it was a, a cramp. No, I, every time I brushed my teeth, I was heaving really mm. hard, and I was just like, why am I heaving? This is, you know, like. And and I would I would like throw up a little bit of that about that bowel, mm. and I thought it was the dressing from mm-hmm. the, and I was like, hold up, I ate this three days ago. How come I'm still? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so I I ended up getting a test and I found out in the hotel. And you were sick during scenes, like no no no. Oh, no. Not that I was it, I was in the beginning of of the pregnancy during okay. that show, but I I did find out while I was filming. Okay. So so my I was like, it ended up messing with my head while mm-hmm. I was filming, and you know, but. You know, we got things done. I um, you also sung in that um, in the Tyler Perry play, Medea on the Run. Yes, we was on tour. We did two years of mm-hmm. that tour, and yep. you sung this one song that stood out in my mind called "I Was Watching You." Yes, that, that was Mr. Perry wrote that. Is it something he don't write? That he he, he didn't write, write the melody. You... What he does is he'll he he pulls you and he says sing these words, and then he gets the um um his guy to play the music. Uh huh of where he wants it to sound like. And then as the singer, you just, you find the melody mm-hmm. within that. Oh. Yeah. So you vibe And he out. just tells you the words he wants. Right, right, right. Because he can't sing, but he he knows what he wants to hear. You stay working with Tyler Perry, and you started, um, you were also a character on If Loving You Was Wrong. Yes. And you played a character named Claudette. <laughs> yeah, his, Claudia. The character was Claudia. Oh, oh, yep, okay. yep, yep, yep. What was yeah. that like, working with Tyler Perry? Like, how Amazing. did that, how did that come about? Um, I just did a reading. I did a reading for um for the play. I got the play when I got the play. He in New felt York like or I would be Atlanta? good in LA. Oh. And then um when I did the play, uh then he he felt like he wanted that I fit a part in a that is something that he oh, had in his mind. That's so and so um I read for that, of course. When you read, did you also have to sing? For the play, yes. Oh, okay. Um for What'd the you show, sing? no. What did I sing? I think I sang. I don't remember what I sang. <laughs> I might have sang the Lord's Prayer, or I might have sang um, uh, when we, "Overjoyed" when... by Stevie Wonder. Oh, I don't know. Which one. I'm not sure which one I sang though. Mm-hmm. And you got that, huh? I remember yeah, I when we did the uh, sister act thing. They made everybody sing "This Little Light of Mine." And you just had to just, just put had it in your own it. way. That's yes, nice. That was dope. Um, R and B divas. Yes. L A. Mm-hmm. Uh, how did that opportunity come up? Um, I actually wow. Um, I was in that a was really, a good look for you. I was in a really low place in my life at mm-hmm. that time. Um, after I went through my divorce, I you know I lost my house. My house ended up being robbed too. What? I was like you know literally. Robbed? I was literally like almost going to a shelter at that time. You and, sure that um, wasn't Robbie? No, I'm positive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you crazy? I was like, we're going to have to see. No, him I'm earlier. positive that wasn't. We got no, to see no, no, Robbie. Not at all. 
Oh, not at all. Okay. But um, I uh, while I was in my car, my I, all I had was my car left, and right. I had my things in my trunk, and I just was praying, and I was like, I, you know, I I just was worried, you know, about taking care of my kids That's and everything, right. and I literally just got a text from. A producer, Phil Thornton. Mm-hmm. I don't know how he got my number. Who cares? Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and he said, "Hey, we were thinking about you for this show. Please let me know if you're interested." And Hell yeah! Mind you, I had gotten a lot of uh, a lot of different opportunities for reality shows, but I wasn't. I didn't really want to do reality mm-hmm. TV. Um, but in that case, I of was the ratchet like, aspect. Yes, because okay. of the ratchet aspect and, and, you know, and to each his own, that's fine. But me, it wasn't okay for me. So not I didn't, ratchet, that's not one of my things. So, I, um... That would be more like for me. <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> I, I just really, um... At that time, I, I really didn't even think nothing of it. I didn't think it would turn into anything, really. But I was just like, you know what? I'll do the, you know, I'll have a conversation. And the one conversation to an, turn to another with more people on the phone and more right. people on the phone. And, and then, you were like, this is really happening. No, not yet. Okay. Then on Christmas, they called me on Christmas Eve and said, early Christmas present, we want you on the show. Wow, dope. And then it went into the negotiations. I still wasn't sure. Okay. Contract negotiations. I was like, well, I'm not coming without my kids. Okay. So if y'all can't bring, if I can't come with my kids, I know that's I can't right. Do it. Okay. They agreed to that. They agreed to flights. They agreed to um, uh, childcare because I was like, I'm gonna have to pay somebody to help me with the kids while I'm filming. They agreed to that. They agreed to you know everything that I negotiated. So it ended up being a blessing, and um, I ended up moving to LA for like three years after that, wow. and, and I just moved to Jersey, and now you know. So. So was that good to you? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I really, it, it was a, a great. It what was, was great. it like working with them broads? They, <laughs> Who was you closest to from all of these, the, all these women? Um, I guess I would say between um Mo and and Shantae. Who were you most distant with? This I wasn't really distant with anybody. Uh, we we all tried to tried talk as much. I heard that um, word, but what's what was in, what's interesting just is that we none of us really knew each other before, and you only see each other when you're filming. Well, listen, so Claudette, I want to play a little game with you. Let's do it. 